Somebody say Nigeria for Nigeria movement. I'm letting you know it's about to start. I'm going to champion it. It's going to go like white fire across this nation. Nigeria for Nigerians. You'll be bigger than Save Nigeria group. You have never seen anything like it before. It's a movement propelled by God. Nigeria for Nigerians to deliver us from the hands of oppressors. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is a fight to finish. I'm not going to die for this country. I'm going to live for it. Nigeria will prosper in my lifetime. Nigeria will be saved. Nigeria will be changed. Nigeria will become great. It is the wicked that the land will vomit. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say war. Wow. The people said to your tent. O Israel. We have no portion in the house of Jesse anymore. Sovereignty is not in your hand. You are commander in chief of nothing except the people put you there. The highest office in the land is the highest, the high, is the office of the citizen and the office of the president. Nigerians are going to rise. They are going to demand for their rights. Nigeria for Nigeria movement in the name of Jesus. And I dare you to try to stretch your hand against me like you have done to others. Then you will know whether God sent me. I'm just empty. I'm just making noise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shout, Nigeria for Nigerians. The time to serve this country has come. The government can save us. The military can save us. We have seen it. Nigerians must rise and demand for what is rightfully theirs. In Jesus' mighty name. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. This is the final one. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I love you. I served you. I respected you. I did everything to make it work for you. But you turned against me and God has turned against you. Get out of my way. Time had come for truth to be spoken. Do you understand me? I'm not holding dialogue with anybody anymore. I will not come to you. You will come to me because it is war. Look, when it comes to time, when, it, when the time comes for God says, Go speak. I don't fear no jack. I only respect people. And I wait for God's bidding. I remember in that bedroom of the president. When I told him, I've come to tell you, you'll be president and this is the way it will take place. And to walk, I will excuse myself completely to give room to others. But right in my lifetime, this next time around, you are going to be, we were only two in the room. He said, no, I've stood publicly. That would never offer myself. I said, we are canceling it. How are you going to do it? And I laid the thing on the table and we set it in motion. I moved the motion for the matter at Eagle Square and you became president. Now my mouth is smelling. It is the same mouth. Too. It is the same Samuel that anointed Saul that God sent to go anoint somebody else. Do you understand me? Nigeria for Nigeria movement begins from now. God is stirring up the spirit of Nigerians in the name of Jesus. Enough of this nonsense. Do you understand me? You will know that when God sends you, man, he does not fear anybody. If you don't know what I know, you can't do what I'm doing. You, I'm, not a, I'm not a social critic. I must get command. I must be told what to say. You talk what you like. You get five minutes applause. That's the end and nothing changes. You will see that Nigeria will change. We are going to sit on the table of brotherhood and negotiate from the position of weak, of strength, not of weakness. In telling you there will be a new Nigeria and I have a part to play in it, that new Nigeria is about to come into manifestation. These men that you said they are lethargic, these men that you said they are laid back, they are going to rise up with a kind of force you've never seen before. They are going to demand for their rights. It's called Nigeria for Nigeria movement. Do you understand me? The Nigerians for Nigeria. 
Britain is not going to fix this country. America will not fix this country. You are going to rise up. You are going to be stirred up by God. The flame and the fire of the Holy Ghost will be upon you. And when you enter Jerusalem, the elders will be trembling and saying, Come down peaceably. Because before tonight,